Court, guess who's just rocked in? Ooh, uh, Glenn McGrath. Mate, we've got to do the, the Dennis Silly, the fast bowling cartel salute. Hey, Pidgey, lost for the Aussies today. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to see some fight from the Australians. And I reckon most of our batters at least showed some form that they can take into the second test match. Yeah, what did it seem to come out today and show a bit of fight, not just capitulate. They got it sort of late in the day four. I thought uh, he and... Uh, and Mitch Marsh showed a bit of fight, but unfortunately, uh, couldn't do much more than that. And and the Indians, I mean, we love it. Uh, finally, a fast bowling yeah. captain for India. So it's the smartest, most strategic captain that we've had for Australia, Pat Cummins. Yep. And now Inda, India, Jasper Boomer. Um, you must have loved Boomer's work through this test match. Yeah, well, I, I think everyone knows fast bowlers are the most intelligent in the game. It was good to see two of them out there performing their... Uh, their artworks. Um, yeah, Boomer, unbelievable. He's just a quality bowler. His technique, his action, it's unrepeatable. He's very unique. And this pitch out there probably suited him perfectly and he knew exactly what to do. So he got man of the match as well as being captain for the second time for his nation. He did an incredible job. I reckon he might do it full time in the future when Rowett's had enough there. Mm. Eight the segments. Yep. Raise the bat, something positive. Raise the finger, something to work on. I'm yep. going to start, I'm going to raise the bat. It's actually for Jasper Boomer again. Yeah. I've given him a lot of bats. But I just felt when the test match wasn't getting away from India, but Travis Head looked like he was going to go yeah. big like he did in the test championship uh, in England last year. Uh, Boomer goes, no, nah, I, I need to shut this down. Yeah. Grabs a ball, round the wicket, nicks Trav off. So yeah. raise the bat, Jasper Boomer again. What about you? Yeah, so I try to look at it from an Australian perspective. You, know, you mentioned Travis Head. He looked good out there. One of the one of the few Australian batsmen that looked comfortable and dominated, went along at quite a rate of knots. Got to 89, just 11 shy of 100. Would have been nice to see him to get those three figures, but unfortunately didn't quite get there. But I'm still going to raise a bat to Travis Head. Okay, raising the finger. Um, something's been annoying me the whole test match. This yeah. isn't massive. It's, the outfield is here for, for the Indian fans. It's Australian rules footy, so it's about 24 centimetres, you mm. know, so the players don't hurt themselves and all that sort of stuff. But it looked like it was cut halfway between an AFL Aussie rules game and yep. the traditional test match. So the batters, um, normally we don't like giving the batters some credit, but next yep. year, can we just cut it to a decent level, please? So raise the finger to... I didn't mind the pitch, but get the outfield right, seriously. What about you? Yeah, and no, that's the opposite to the whacker, isn't it? You get it through the infield in the whacker, it's four. four. So one or four, here a lot of three, so it did slow down. But I'm going to, uh, today I just wanted to see the Aussies fight and take it into day five. Mm. Unfortunately, they couldn't do that because India played so well, so I'm... Uh, going to raise a finger to the Aussies not quite getting to day five. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Actually, I've got a, a retrospective raise the finger to every Australian selector when this guy was playing, you should have captained Australia. Look what Boomer and Cummins are doing. What could you have done? Oh, no, I was happy to make our captains look good. Yeah, reasonable name names, captains. Name names. Uh, Alan Border, yeah, incredible captain. They're all amazing. Then Mark Taylor, Steve Wall, Ricky Ponting. But I think that the they're fielding in the slips. Got to keep them interested in the game. I like to focus 100% on my bowling when I'm bowling. Might as well give the batsman something to do. Um, and that's why we went with the batsman for a captain. But obviously this test shows just how good fast bowlers can be. The fast bowling cartel were just worth manipulating there. Uh, but PG, overall, well done to India. You know, that was yeah. a professional performance. You know, spots are up for grabs too. They're injuries. Yeah. And, and most of their players played like that. For the Aussies, I like today a lot more, but we, we're going to need five days of that in Adelaide, yeah. aren't they, if they're going to turn this around and win the series? Oh, exactly. I think the Australians might have been a little bit complacent from lunch on day one onwards. They basically yeah. knocked India over cheaply. Thought it's just going to happen again. New Zealand knocked them over, beat them three times at home, which is unheard of. And yeah. maybe they thought it was just going to happen. And in the end, um, India bounced back and, uh, yeah, Australia go 1-0 down. So... I probably have to change my prediction now. What are you going? It, it can't be 5-0 anymore. I'm going 4-1. So, still positive, though. Well done. Hey, thanks for <laughs> joining us. The Bowlology Report. Pidgey, let's just get this out. All right, we'll see you in Adelaide. See you then.